how to connect shopify with cj dropshipping hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can connect your cj dropshipping to shopify to start adding your products directly onto your shopify store so let's get into it now it's very simple and very easy First off, you want to go into cjdropshipping.com. This is a platform that enables you to source products from a bunch of different suppliers all over the globe and they will dropship the products directly to your consumers and instead of having to manually add everything, you can easily use their application. So the first thing you want to do is go onto cjdropshipping.com, click on register on the top right of your screen and you're just going to sign up and create your account. It's very simple sign up process. I already have one so I'm just going to sign into my account over here and once you have signed into your account you will be able to see you know all these different products and the first thing you want to do is connect your Shopify store. So how does that happen? How can you do that? Well it's rather simple. You're going to go back into your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left. Then you're going to click on apps and sales channel. And once you click on apps and sales channels, you're going to click on Shopify app store. And this will just open up the Shopify app store. And from here, you're just going to search for CJ dropshipping. And you guys will find the first application. It's called CJ dropshipping. So just going to click on that. This is a application created by them for you to make it easier to add your dropshipped product. So you're going to click on add app and click on install application. Once the installation is completed, they will ask you whether or not you want to use the account. So I'm going to authorize this account over here. And just like that, now my store is connected. So now once my e-commerce store, my Shopify store is connected, I can start adding products. So you guys can see if I go into my CJ over here, it will show me all of this and it will show me the store authorization Then I can click on Shopify and my, you know, my store called Dead and Clothing is now authorized. It's an active store and I can start adding products. So now I can just open up CJ dropshipping and I can take a look at all of these products. So let's say I want to import clothing. So I can go into outerwear and jackets and or maybe i want to import something else i think i'm going to go into women's clothing tops and sets and i'm just going to browse around a little and what you want to do is let's say that you find a product that you like so let's say we have a product that we like like this one if i click on the product this will show me you know all the detail about the product now there are a few different options first off you can click on connect and if it already uh, you know exist in your store it will uh, you know build a product connection that is not what you want to do you have list so list allows you to add your product to your uh, you know Shopify store so you want to do a simpler process which is edit before listing and this will just move it to your import wish list. So this allows you to, you know, add a bunch of different items and later on add them to your store as you like them. So this will open up the My CJ section and in your My CJ section you have your wish list. And in your wish list you will find all these products where you are, you know, setting them, adding them to your list and not importing them onto your store. Now, once you have them in your wish list, you can click on the listing. You can just click on this, edit before listing. And let's say I want to change the title, red, white, top. Then I can select the product type it is. This is going to show me all of the information for my Shopify store. So whatever the, you know, product types you've created on your Shopify store, you can select them. Then you have your collections, whichever collection you want to select. You can click on add new and add new collections and add new product types as well directly from your CJ dropshipping platform. If you feel like, oh, I missed out on something, let's say you made a category for hoodies and sweatshirts and you were supposed to make one for cardigans separately and you can just do it directly from here and start your import process. Now you guys can see tags and titles, then you have your description, you can also add and remove it. You have your basic images, variants and shipment. So if you want to remove anything, you can just select it and you know only provide those specific sizes. You can also do a price change, so you can click on recommended listing price and change the listing price. So this is the CJ price, shipping fee, service fee, let's say I want to sell it for $30. I'm going to click on OK. 
So once I've done that, I can just click on list it now and I have to select a category for this as well. So I'm just going to add a new category and a type. Now I'm just going to click on list it now and it's going to take a couple of seconds to list my product onto my store and we're just going to wait. You can also, you know, close this up. It's still going to continue the listing process, but we're just going to wait a couple of seconds so I can show you guys the listed product onto my store. Now I can click on view it in store over here. And now you guys can see this product has been added to my Shopify store. If I click on my products in my Shopify dashboard, you can see my red white top. And if I click on preview on online store, I will be able to preview this so you guys can see this is my top that is now listed. All the information is provided like, you know, like I did. So in this way, you can add products into CJ Dropshipping. Not only that, but I do recommend some other features which allow you to further enhance your uh, Shopify store. First off, instead of just going very basic and being like, hey, you know, instead of importing all the basic products, which a lot of other people are probably already doing, you can also go on ahead and click on, you know, add customized requests. So you can ask them to, you know, customize maybe a sleeve, a tag, a logo, a very tiny thing on any product that you like. This will allow you to have a edge over other dropshipping suppliers because you will be, you know, creating a more customized, more unique product, which customers are always looking for because dropshipping has become super popular right now and you want to make sure that your products stand out. Other than that, if you are feeling iffy about a seller on CJ Dropshipping, you can always click on photo request. A photo or video request is where you will ask the supplier to provide you with additional photos or videos of the actual product in hand. And this just allows you to better understand the quality or materials of that product. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to um, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.